It's time for Side Scrollers with me, Stuttering Craig. You decide what you lose, not other people. And blast. I like pickles. And co-hosted by our friends from around the internet. If you like common sense, hit that thumbs up button and of course the subscribe button and join us Monday through Friday live at 11 a.m. Central Time. And now broadcasting from our homes, it's time for the number one gaming and entertainment podcast on God's green earth. It's time for Side Scrollers. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, welcome on out to Side Scrollers on YouTube.com and Rumble.com and SideScrollers.locals.com. What's going on, everybody? Hi, I'm Stuttering Craig. Happy Tuesday to you. Are you having a good day? You are. Good. Well, we got a lot to talk about today. So much. We have a. Uh, it's Side Scroll Hers in the best way possible. First, starting off with Labs, the international sex symbol. Don't call me that. I don't like it. <laughs> no. Anyway, hello, guys. How you doing? Happy, what day is it? Tuesday. Yeah, Super Tuesday, actually. Which I don't even know what that is. I thought that was a thing with the moon. But I guess not. Is it not Super Tuesday with, like, a moon? What? <laughs> you know how, like, it's, like, Super Moon? I thought it was, like, a Super Moon, like, a Tuesday thing. Like, there's a Super Tuesday moon out there. Like, it's a once every hundred years or something. I don't know. <laughs> I thought Super Tuesday had something to do with the moon. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, it's just like a random ass, like, really big moon, and it just happens to fall on a Tuesday. I, that's what I thought it was. I try to avoid the politics. It hurts my heart. Well, no, I, I mean, but do you, can you avoid the moon? That's the that's the real No, question. I like staring at the moon. Don't you just ever go outside and go, oh, that's so nice. Yes. I have a really uh, cool super cannon that can zoom in and can see all like little grooves on the moon and stuff too. So it's like, who's there? Is there a Martian there? Let me see. Anyway, go on. That's, that's great. I love everything that's happening right now. Anyway, go on. It's fine. <laughs> wow. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Come on, that's right. Uh, also joining us today, the one, the only, Melanie Mac. Hi. Hey. Happy Super Moon Tuesday. <laughs> What wow. a special day it is today. Every hundred years, the moon Tuesday. Yes. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Uh, we're learning so much more about what happened today, <laughs> which is great. Um, also joining us today, every once every hundred moons, she appeared. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, my God. Uh, happy Super Moon Tuesday. Uh, I guess this is my excuse for being uh, crotchety today. The moon is super, unlike myself. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm just what crotchety I'm mean? What's crotchety? Like like an old man that's like crotchety and grumpy and, you know. <laughs> Not that's Craig. Craig. <laughs> Craig, you're so happy. Yeah. Look, you're smiling. Crotchety yeah, people know. don't smile. They're like, the, mm. the, internet, the internet doesn't understand. They think I'm just this mean person. And I'm, I'm, filled, with, I agree. I'm filled with happiness. It's really you know what? He gets very feisty during um, wrestling. Mm. Yeah. And that's right. the only time I've seen him be like, Arr. I don't know how the internet thinks of you as mean. Like, I have <laughs> never, I tell them, that's why. I have never <laughs> once in my life thought, oh, Craig's kind of mean. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it, well, because here's the thing uh, I have common sense. And if you don't have common sense and you're an idiot, then mm -hmm. you think I'm mean. So there you go. Now we know. <laughs> That's if right. they don't have common sense, can we send them to California and just like keep yes, them there? Exile them over great. there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There are times where I wish the big earthquake would hit and just the entire, <laughs> that part of, of California would just Hi. go off. And I'm you just, <laughs> And everyone just waves. And you know what happens? Everyone's sad for a little bit. And then everyone gets over it and realizes that the country's better. I'm just saying. <laughs> just we don't like want Sodom and Just a little bit of a little bit of a murder spree going on over there. That's fine. <laughs> Not murder. They just die. Die a natural death. It was you know? a natural disaster. Yeah. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> oh, how no, death is horrible. But... You know, I mean, I right. like Northern California, but when I say Northern California, I actually mean like Northern California, not freaking San Francisco. People are like, that's so North. No, it's not. Have you looked at the map? 
I don't anyway. think you know how to read maps, to be honest, Blob. Honestly, I don't think so. They're like, oh my god, Northern California. No, like, Northern California is literally super rural. There's just mountains and volcanoes. Blab's Goats. out here uh, teaching us about <laughs> everything, including astronomy. Which is great. <laughs> astronomy, <laughs> geography. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. All right. Look, we're going to have a great show today. Uh, we got a lot going on. I want to remind you guys, we are live over at rumble.com slash side scrollers. Join us over there. Hit the follow button I, uh, over there on Rumble. Growing quickly. You know what? It's not down over there, which is great. Unlike YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, the whole thing. Uh, I guess Twitter was still up this morning, but uh, join us over at Rumble. Also on X at x.com slash side scroller pod. Find out who's going to be on the show. You could have found out the X ray girl and Melanie were going to be on the show today. If you just hit the follow button, all you got to do is join us over there. We also have an Instagram account, don't we, Blabs? We do, so you should follow us there for memes and clips and whatnot. Or else, I don't know, the supermoon's going to land on your face. Oh, wow. Some people would really enjoy that in some way, shape, or form. The supermoon on your who's face. who's the owner of the supermoon? <laughs> yeah. Lizzo is the supermoon. That's her. Yeah, Lizzo's going to come sit on you, and you'll be squished. And it's not Maybe. even it's not even death by snoo snoo. It's just death. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that to happen. So. <laughs> Waiting for the memers to do their worst today with that. <laughs> oh, we, got, we got the super moon and the death star in Lizzo. <laughs> God, it's ridiculous. Uh, also, you can uh, find us over at kick.com slash side schoolers if you're looking for an alternative to uh, Twitch. Or you can uh, listen to the show over on Spotify as well if you don't want to look at our stupid faces. But why would you not want to do that today when we have three wonderful women on the show, which is great, in one crotch Four, deal. Craig. Four, <laughs> Four how Craig. dare you? How dare you? How dare you assume my gender? Blast. Hashtag Pib. Oh my God, he has a T on his hat for two things. You know, the Tuesday, you know, uh -huh. and 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 for side scroll hers because he's a uh, you know, got to transition into that role. <laughs> <laughs> he's a trans T trans. This <laughs> ranger transitioning. Uh, the trans man here he goes, which is great. <laughs> um, but the place I want to point you guys today, as always, I would like ten of you. To open up a new tab, go over to sidescrollers.locals.com and find us over there. Why, as Flash pointed out yesterday, every single day you will receive a notification when we go live. Every single day. Unlike YouTube, unlike everywhere else, you will know when we're live. So join us over there and let us know just in case, not if, but when we are booted off YouTube, uh, you can find us over there. So make sure you guys join us. It will be great. Uh, but if you'd like to subscribe over here on, on YouTube, you absolutely can and join the 67,600. I'm looking at the exact number as, as I speak. Oh, I'm sorry. 67,879 mm. subscribers over here, which is great. Growing a little bit more every single day. Thank you guys very much. Hit the thumbs up button. We'd greatly appreciate it. it helps the show get discovered by new people, bring in the common sense, which is great. And our goal, as always, is 25 memberships for the day. Let's see if we can hit that. That'd be great. Now, before we get into this, uh, I do want to point out that we have, uh, starting this year, we, you notice we got the new, the new logo, we got the new branding and all that stuff. We launched that a few weeks ago as part of year two here on Side Scrollers. We have all our, all our goals and everything that we've talked about in the past for, for our second year of excitement. Here they are. Uh, you can see them right there. We want to extend the show out to two hours, which we've been doing that pretty much regularly <laughs> in the last couple of weeks. I want to eventually hire a new host. And you can see all those things. Uh, but one of the other things is we're going to be doing new merchandise every single month. And that merchandise is only going to be available for that month. And they're all going to be themed. So for March, we are uh, already starting behind the bell curve here. And that's my fault. We're uh, a few days into it. But for March, we have our new High Life t-shirt, which is available right now over, on, uh, over at the merch store, which you can find a link down below. And once again, they're only available till they're gone, only available this month. I think we're only selling 75 of them. So uh, if you guys want to go pick that up, it's a nice little homage to the high life, if you will, beer. Uh, so go pick it up right now over in the store. Limited edition shirt only available this month. Uh, so please consider picking it up if you want to look awesome and uh, feel good about yourself and support the show as well. Um, so there we go. Um, oh, also, before we get into all the news and everything like that, uh, there is one thing we want to to point out and we wanted to kind of kind of uh yeah kind of kind of address early on and that was that uh i i've only run into this person a couple times but the point is is that we've lost somebody within our community our common sense community and, we, and um this was tweeted out yesterday uh by jay drunk 3po he said my, my heart is broken 
someone that I came to know and love in the community, Dawn Howe, uh, passed away. She was beautiful, a beautiful angel that helped me so many ways. We talked almost every day. She will truly be missed. I have, have no words. That's uh, obviously incredibly sad. We've seen a lot of people in, in our in our sphere kind of talk about uh, um, losing her, and uh, you know, obviously speaking to somebody every single day. That's that's uh, that's Aww. tough. So, just oh want to send God. our condolences on to everybody that mm -hmm. uh, that Dodd touched and obviously made a big impact in the community, and we're we're sorry to see her go. So um, she was in a rumble chat all the time. Oh, so, yeah. Um, but you know, never I I, I met her in uh, at MegaCon, but she was a really great lady. So, uh, rip, rest in peace, Dawn. So, mm -hmm. um, all right, yeah, it, it, a lot of people in the chat says I remember her. That's right, sad. Um, all right. So with that said, we got a lot to talk about today. Um, so much going on. But first, I want to remind everybody that uh, Nissan came in right at the bat with the $50 super chat it says yesterday's stream was exactly why I'm a member and exactly what makes side scrollers unique. Keep up the great work and props to Craig for striking the sweet baby ink detected story while it's red hot and getting the creator on the show. Yeah, so uh, we actually did a live stream of the sweet baby uh, ink detected uh, group which is over 150,000 members right now over on Steam, which is just insane. Uh, but Nissan, do me a favor, would you look at this? Look at it right there, that's ridiculous. Thank you so much, Nissan. Greatly appreciate that support. Uh, we're going to get into more sweet baby ink in just a minute. Uh, Blabs, we read off these super chats, please. Why put Nissan on the wall? Yeah, all right. So, animating Andy just dropped in with five euros and then didn't say anything, but thank you, animate Andy. Let's go. And where'd you fell for Don and I? Well, we don't have Instagram today, do we, Blaps? Well, you <laughs> haven't had it for like an hour or two, but it's back now. Oh, it's back? Yeah, I I, everything earlier. meta is back right now. Oh, okay. At least I saw that it is. I thought I was like, oh, did it yeah. finally happen? Did I get banned? But yeah, it's no. back. <laughs> you like pushing those buttons, don't you? <laughs> I know every single time a social media is down, I just assume, oh, I was I banned this time? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike has bad knees. Craig out here making. <laughs> I'm not answering that. One. No, 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 no. That's funny. Let me wow. tell you why it's funny. So yesterday, uh, yesterday I appeared on 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 Camelot's 24 hour stream, which he should be finishing up any minute now. I think he actually may be done. Uh, and there was a lady on there named Olga who I had I never met her, and within three or four minutes, and she was like, she's like, what if I was to say like. Oh, Craig. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I was like, uh, she goes, she's like, tell me about yourself. And I'm like, well, I'm a happily married man. There's some thirsty Good people job. on the internet. Jesus Christ. Wow. She, I, I, I'm not sure if she had something to drink beforehand. She seemed like a really nice, she was really crazy and off the rails. I mean, I, I would love she was nuts. She was nuts. And everyone in the chat's like, is she high or something? You know, but but it was it was a fun experience for sure. Um, so give it up for Olga. She's she's a life coach too. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Like, okay. A life coach. I don't know if that was a good decision or a poor decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was it was yeah. funny. So anyways, yeah. yeah. Push up. Craig is right. The cheese it wasn't anything special. <laughs> That makes I just me sad. I had high hopes for it. I know. I know. No, no we'll, it's we'll, fine. we'll figure it. It's okay. We'll we'll work through it. And uh, it Bob's was not, right. That's all. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right. Sure, how to talk. Hi, Dev. It's Hi. time to force Melanie and X Ray to watch yesterday's five hour <laughs> deep lore stream. LOL. It was fun. Thanks for having me on, guys. It's all happening again. Five hours. I like supporting Canadians. So, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, put it on times two and watch it. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> I learned so much yesterday. I learned so much, and uh, it was it was crazy. So I and we're gonna dig into a little bit more today because I'm learning more. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, David Lowe for five. Just want to give wrestling icon and devout Christian Sting a shout. He has he closed the book on his epic career the other day. Aww. Yeah, I didn't know there was a wrestler named Sting. I just thought they were talking about the singer from the police. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just like uh, Tuesday, the Blue Moon. Uh, <laughs> blue Moon. Oh wow, we're, we're adding words to it now. We're adding lore. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, um, let's see. Uh, Canada for two. That's one way to get mooned, I guess. Oh <laughs> That's not a moon. That's a spaceship. Ay. That's a Lizzo. Um, 
Methodist for fifty dollars says, "Hey there, guys! Wow. Today's my birthday, so wish me a happy one, please." Mm -hmm. And Blabs, have a pickle on me. Well, very happy birthday to you! I happy hope you have birthday. the greatest day. Happy birthday! And thank you for the fifty, everyone. <laughs> spam happy birthday in the chat. Do it, I'll or else slow. Liz is gonna sit on you. <laughs> it's Mark's birthday tomorrow. It's a <gasps> big four zero. Oh, oh, it's Adam's birthday tomorrow too on the sixth. I swear he said the sixth. Uh Ooh. no, I think his birthday is. Is it adjacent? I think it's like a day after. I don't know. Oh, I well, have... he's also 40, isn't he? That's kind of ironic. No, wow. Adam is on the 7th. Ooh, so we have day Mark day. Okay. on the 6th, Adam on the 7th, and then Jeremy Griggs on Friday. Oh! oh with, uh, Gary's wife. Mrs. Whoa. Gary. Everyone's a hey. March baby. Like, early March. X-Ray, will you, will you DM me that information so I can give them a, a personal phone call on those days, please? And say, oh, fuck oh. you! Oh. <laughs> 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 You know, when uh, I pick up, I'll just be like, happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> and just like just like Olga yesterday, it'll be very yeah. awkward. Happy happy birthday. Birthday. Oh. That's what, happy birthday, buddy. Congratulations on making another year. We're here for you, buddy. Appreciate mm. that. All right. I'm just ah, don't you. jump in on me, Craig. Get out of here. All right, Mo. Blabs, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you for the membership. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 Andrew, remember for two months. Hey, Melanie, I finally downloaded TR Remasters. I see why it's your all time favorite game. I'm glad I'm finally having the time to enjoy it now. Yay, that's exciting, Yay. Andrew. That's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying. Cold says, Super Moon Tuesday is when the obese people transform into even bigger mounds of bags and pudding. Kind of like diabetic werewolves without the badassness and more disgust. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. Well, like back in the day, we had a we. I created a holiday uh, at Screw Attack called uh, God. What the hell was it called? Uh, so it was, it was we we created a holiday uh, in, that we celebrated every single year. And maybe we need to celebrate Super Moon Tuesday uh, every every six months or so, just for for blabs. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just throwing things out. <laughs> <laughs> um riz for a member for more month this one month i should say says happy birthday methylis so there you go all the shout out Aww. in the chat nice brisket for a biscuit let's go love that mm. psychotic mongoose gifted one side scrollers membership and colt <laughs> comes back and says also hey x-ray girl so that's Hello. cool let's orthodox that's monks cool. melanie got the jigglypuff tank top on <laughs> she's ready to sing today that's oh. right <laughs> <laughs> Lord J, hey Craig, hail Blabs, hail sex-rated girl. Anyway, hail Game Award lady. Happy Tuesday. Remember to fight for managed democracy. Oh my yes, God, we need to spread more democracy. Did you enjoy? You didn't text me telling me. Telling oh my me God, you... so I'm so sorry. Hell Divers Two was a hoot. Um, oh. I definitely want to play it again. So mm. yeah, yeah, it was it was fun, really fun. Spreading democracy mm. was really fun. Told you. Charles became a member for two months. Shout out, Charles. Let's go, um, Charles. Elston says, Olga for the new co-host. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Craig every day. <laughs> hey, hey, Craig. Craig. Hey. Push up says, hashtag Blabs was right. Hashtag Blabs wank up. I don't know. This is weird. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> the worthy one. Highly recommend bringing Tyrone Magnus on the show. You and him have very similar views on what's going on in pop culture. All right. Do not remove that super chat. I got to mark it down. Um, man Dracos for ten dollars. Melanie saw on Twitter a while ago that you purchased my favorite favorite personal game, Grandia. Have you been playing it yet, or will you stream Ooh, it? Oh, yeah, I got that as a gift. I think for Christmas, one of my brothers got it for me. Um, I, uh, I, yeah, I haven't played it yet. I, I might consider streaming it. We'll see. I don't really have like my old school, uh, PS One setup for streams, but we'll see. We'll see. Thanks, All right. Uh, DJ Blabs, are Jesus Christ, thank you. You should be Miranda Lawson for Halloween from Mass Effect. What is happening oh. today? Okay, um, I see it. I let see me see. It. Let me see. I don't know who oh. that is. Miranda Lawson. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, Blabs. This she is the prettiest uh, wow. Mass Effect character. Ladies and I'm gentlemen. Sure want her outfit. Ladies oh, that is gentlemen. actually a cool outfit. It's kind of like a Loba skin from, a from Apex Legends. Ladies. Oh, yeah. Bobby Craig Labs, the international <laughs> <laughs> international Guamanian princess. It's 
Blab's Appreciation Day, everybody. Blab's Thank Appreciation Day. Thank you for being Day. here today. Yay! I, I like the Princess Diaries. Thank you for being here today. It's more like this, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Elite Neo. Ironic we had that little social media outage on Super Tuesday in the day right after the SCOTUS handed the Donald a W. By the way, tried the cheese that liked it. Oh, no. What is Let's a go, cheese Elite Neo. by the way? You, you know what? That's fine. Don't don't, don't look into it. It's disgusting. <laughs> no, no, oh. no. X-ray, we'll talk about it. It was a this. disappointment. We'll He's oh, it's a two. chicken pizza. Just like Olga yesterday on Cody Street. Oh, I'd be down to eat that. Maybe not from actual KFC, but chicken I'd make parm. my own. It's chicken parm without the without it the uh, so without the good. pasta. It's it, good. But, yeah, you know my diet consists of cheese and meat and mm -hmm. you know <laughs> butter. <There> you <laughs> <Great>. Yes, <laughs> a perfect meal. Love it. I, I got him. Stop it, Craig. I got him. Damn it. Now, girl says the uh, the holiday was called Dia de los Huevos. It's such an awesome Ooh. holiday. That's right. That's right. Day of the balls. That's right. That's what it was called, and uh, that was the whole idea behind it. Thank you, Falco. <laughs> Appreciate it. that was the old screw sack thing. Uh, Peter <laughs> says thank you for hosting yesterday's conversation. I found it absolutely fascinating. Keep up the great work, Peter. I did too. It was absolutely fascinating yesterday. And once again, we have more fascinating stuff coming uh, very very shortly. The coconut came in with a nice super sticker. Thank you very much, coconut. Coconut. And Dave says, how did side scrollers get Melanie and X-Ray X-Ray Girl on the show? You're spoiling us. Games and freedom, baby. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Almond John came in over on uh, Rumble, says, I wanted to I wanted uh, I wanted to saw California off like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Oh, it actually saw it off. That's good. Um, Blake says, What a great what a show yesterday. Thanks for exposing evil. Darkness is afraid of light and does and does not want to be exposed. One thousand percent. And uh, uh, Kyle came in and says, MLB, the show is getting uh, is is going to let you play as women like back in World War II days when men went overseas. That's interesting. Also, greetings, Mac and X-Ray girl. Um, by the way, I'm not racist. Nerdrotic made that up. I have Asian friends, too. All right, Kyle. <laughs> Good <laughs> for you. That's excellent. And Dark Persona picked up the brand new... High Life T-shirt available Ooh, right now. Nice. Down below. Hey, Dark Persona says, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Dark Persona. Go pick up your shirt right now. Uh, only a few of them printed up, so make sure you guys go get them. Appreciate that, Dark Persona. Uh, all right, we got a bunch of, bunch of stuff to get to today. Uh, so we're going to get into that. We've been hanging out for 20 minutes, and we haven't even got into the news. Uh, but first, I want Blabs to read this off. All right, I'm blowing myself up. <clears throat> Blobs the Tower Tower to $5. Every show like this, Craig gets closer to wanting to repeal the 19th Amendment. I like pickles and violence. Yay. <laughs> Yay. The 19th okay. Amendment, apparently. Love it. <laughs> the 19th Amendment, uh, it, I'm reading this off of... Is that uh, about the women's voting and stuff? Yeah, it, uh, it's... Uh, the 19th Amendment of the United States Constitution prohibits the United States and its states from denying the right to vote to its to citizens of the United States on the basis of sex. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, so in effect, recognizing the women uh, right. See, I knew that one before Craig did. Ha! <laughs> I love it. Go vote, women. Go vote. Yes. Thanks, <laughs> Blabs the Tower Dart. Blabs the Tower Dart. Shane came in, picked up the brand new, awesome. High Life T-shirt. Let's go pick it up right now. Thank you very much, yeah. James. Thank you, money, yeah. Hey, thank you so much, Shane. Appreciate that. That's awesome. And uh, Delta since Centauri came in and says, "Hey there, been tuning uh, tuning into yesterday's show. So here's a little support when Deb was talking about Celeste and other quote leftist leaning end quote developers. I was thinking of two indie games I really like: Fear, Fear and Hunger One and Two, and Cruelty Squad. Cheers." Thanks so much, Delta. Greatly appreciate the support. Yeah, Del uh, Deb was a, a great help yesterday on the show. He really uh, dug into everything. Uh, so we're going to dig into it a little bit more today. Uh, once again, I see the Super Chats. We're going to get to those in just a little bit. Thank you guys very much for your support. But right now, it's time for my favorite segment, your favorite segment, everybody in the world's favorite segment. It's time for Hard News. Ladies, across the internet, thousands of soccer moms were freaking out this morning as Facebook went down. <laughs> My God, what were they oh, going to no. do? 
Facebook and Instagram go down as thousands of users report problems getting getting in and, and logging in and out and all that stuff. You they couldn't post updates about their donuts and and soy lattes and their that cats, they're drinking. Stanley cups. Yes, yeah, their yes. Stanley cups. <laughs> uh, it was it was it was quite chaotic for sure as uh, error spiked just after nine thirty Central our time and uh, down detector had received more than 500,000 error reports. The irony here is that down detector actually went down as well. <laughs> it was great. Uh-oh. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, it was, it was uh, pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. So um, Elon Musk also came in and said, um, you know, if you're seeing this post, it's because our servers are working, which was uh, which is <laughs> excellent. What? So we've seen this. This is, um, I pointed this out on X. This is the second time in the last week or so that we've seen a ma major out outages of major social media platforms. I'm going to put on the tinfoil cap here. Do you is this is there something bigger going on here that we should be talking about? Ooh. Now I have been seeing like on TikTok and things like that some conspiracies coming out about you know it is election year and all that. So I've been seeing all these conspiracies about like like everything going down, like all the, the internet, all that stuff, it all just going down. Now, uh, allegedly from China, but it, I personally think if something like that were to happen, it would be from our own government just pretending like China did it. Uh, like I said, it's election year. So, you know, <laughs> last time it was the pandemic. Now it's this maybe possibly. So this could be a test. We'll see. Uh, well, I mean, maybe last week was the test, you know? Yeah. And it's, you know, it's funny. I, um, I spent, I've talked about this many, many times. Uh, you know, I spent this year outside of the gaming space. I worked for a firearms, firearms, uh, company and the firearms company was extremely like, they're, they're all about preparation for a mm -hmm. team building exercise. We went out and we learned how to uh, tourniquet bullet bullet wounds and save people. Like that was what we did, right? Um, and my CEO of the company, I had two CEOs while I worked there. The second CEO was literally um, the commander of the original SEAL team. Not like SEAL Team 6, SEAL Team like 1. Like the original SEAL team, he wow. was the commander. And... We were talking about this because, you know, um, I, I worked with some pretty high level military guys and they're all like, yeah, this shit's it's going to go down. Shit is going to go down and you need to be prepared. Um, and someone asked him, he said, how long do you think it would go if the Internet went down and shit hit the fan? How long before there was absolute chaos? And he's like two weeks. Oh, wow, I would think even less than that, like a couple days. Well, he was saying that like people wouldn't be able to survive after two weeks. There would be like mass, um, you know, mass death across the, across the board. People dying, uh, people, you know, the the looting, rioting, and all that stuff. That's that's a given in mm -hmm. the first couple of days, right? Yeah. But uh, but when it came down to like, have you, are you growing vegetables? Are you taking care of yourself? Like like all that stuff. Do you know how to be uh, self-sufficient? He was like, yeah, man, but like, you want to talk about thinning the herd, that would happen extremely quick. Extremely Most people quick. don't even know how to get clean water. True. I don't. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm not going to tell you that I'm like some Mr. Survival guy. I don't know how to get clean water outside of my, outside of my faucet. What do you, what do you do? Uh, I, I go, go into Walmart and bring in a jug and get in the filtered water. I don't know. You, you get know? the life straws. Those are really great. Or camping water filters. They're the best. Or mm. that sort of stuff. But anyways, I did. Yeah. Do, uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, do you think that there's something larger happening here? Or is this just, uh, it just so happens that there's something going on that these, all the servers went down at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I suspect something could happen a thousand percent. I I'm, I'm always up for a conspiracy. I will always entertain a conspiracy. Um, and I think that's definitely possible and it would be, uh, it would be pretty, pretty rough out there for sure. Wouldn't want to be in, uh, Los Angeles and during a time like that. That's for sure. Anywhere, anywhere, but, uh, but a city. 
Yeah. Do, man. Like, yeah. You want to talk about mass, mass chaos. Oh my God. Buildings getting burned down and all sorts of shit, man. It'd be, it'd be nuts. Uh, but it all, it all starts with what Peter says. Won't somebody please think of the soccer moms. That's right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They, Peter, they can't get their much. updates on Facebook. Now, I do like Marketplace. That's the only thing I would miss if I went on to Facebook. See? Mm -hmm. I, use, I use that and then Messenger. Because Messenger works actually fairly well. Like FaceTiming and everything. Mm -hmm. And you can send a whole bunch of images and videos that way. Whereas you couldn't really send that like quality on Instagram or Twitter. It's just not the same. Britt came in and says... Uh, Two weeks without the grocery stores and gas stations getting resupplied would, will cause civilized civilized people to become very uncivilized. Yeah. Yeah. With, hunger with is the the thing that's going to turn people insane, and I would not want to see that. No. No. It, it would be it would absolute chaos for sure. So we're you know we'll see what happens. You know this they was only out for like thirty minutes or so, and people are like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? Like, could you imagine? Like one of two things is gonna happen. Either the world will be restored and start healing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, will, and we'll go back to 1991 or, you know, 1985 or whatever. And yes, yeah, better times and everything will be be okay. Um, or, you know, we will uh, we'll all murder each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will still happen. So I if think that so. happens. Oh, man, that'd, be, that'd be crazy. That'd be uh, have y'all do y'all know how to uh, blabs i know you do i'm sure you know all about planting food and and gardening yeah and... yeah but just because i know how to do it doesn't mean i'm actually good at it for some reason every time yeah. i buy a plant i accidentally kill it you Aww. also have to procure the seeds like things like that like do, do you have that readily available do you know how to get seeds from even just the vegetable or yeah well that's not that hard but yeah i don't know how to do that <laughs> i mean you just have to but grab them out of the plants really <laughs> yeah, well, I guess go. we'll find out. It starts. It starts very simply. With, I can keep with, goats with, alive, okay. <laughs> also, but, we're it, in a place that has snow, so we would have to do a lot of work in the summer and preserve. I wouldn't want to do that. You'd have to get that heat. You know, that's the thing. Get that heat. That's that's the hardest part. Is everything's cold up there in Canada? You know, mm -hmm. saying. Got to bundle up. How would you do it in our igloos? Yeah, get your <laughs> going on. Just go fishing. You're good. Hey, uh, David came in and says, Why is Melanie getting younger with the passage <laughs> of time? Is the fountain of youth somewhere in Texas? Oh, thank you. <laughs> the worthy one says, Also, me and Blabs warned you about the cheesa. Yeah. Uh, y'all did. Y'all did. Sir Neil Strike says, Mistress Blabs Day. Awesome show yesterday. Thanks, Sir Neil Strike. <laughs> <laughs> Blabs really enjoys these monikers you're giving her. Uh, Mr. Big says, watch the Law & Order SVU Gamergate episode. It's as bad as they said it was. Oh, God. I learned so much yesterday. Um, ladies, I don't know if you know this, but there was, as pointed out by, by Mr. Big, there was an actual episode of Law & Order SVU that was built around Gamergate. And throughout the episode, they used all sorts of, like, generic gamer slang, like, he leveled up or it's you know it's a power up in oh, like wow oh my god it. It <laughs> so uh it's and and logan paul was in it as well which was really? great what? Yeah. he was like the main dude yeah the main the main bad guy in it it was spectacular so uh, was i great. guess he leveled up too then i guess so <laughs> uh Johan came in and says, Craig, after you're done with Olga, hook a brother up with them digits, bro. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mark. Thanks, Ray. Better do everything you want for your 40. <laughs> oh, no. And then some. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. He wants steak, okay? <laughs> steak. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. right, steak is great. Uh, Kyle says, a chicken pizza from KFC. This is an incredible time to be able <laughs> to be black with Italian hair. <laughs> Cholesterol <laughs> rain. By the way, thanks for oh damn! <laughs> oh boy! Oh, that is funny. <laughs> oh man! They they they're really they really know their niche over there, which is great. <laughs> Psychotic Mongo says, "I I'm gifting him the second membership as I gifted the first one to myself again." Yeah, how does that happen? Psychotic Mongo does that wow. all the time. 
All the time. Hey, thank you so much, Psychotic Mongoose. Greatly appreciate that. Animating Andy came in says, Craig, yesterday was a highly informative show, and today with three beautiful ladies. That's what I oh. call a level up. What you got oh in store tomorrow? <laughs> what do we have in store tomorrow, Blabs? Well, we are supposed to have Critical Drinker. I just need a confirmation yes from him. Well, there you go. <laughs> be, be I'd pretty say good. That's a level up. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cesario says the internet can't affect printed books or physical media. Got myself at least a shelf full of comic books and DIY guides for starters. There you go, Cesario. Yeah, Great I stuff. feel like as long as I've got food, I'm good. Like, I'm totally fine just playing video games offline and taking a break from the internet for however long. <laughs> yeah. oh my so god I, we would be on vacation i know <laughs> yeah I, I gotta be honest. like if that was to happen it'd be it'd be a great ex like i was asked the other day um about like what's the goal of the show what's the goal of side scrollers and i i really thought about it a lot and i was like the show is the show the purpose of the show is for it not to exist because i don't want to have to talk about like i don't we're talking about all this stupid insanity on a day-to-day -day basis, but the idea of the, the best version of the show would be the show that doesn't have to exist because there's not just absolute batshit insane things to talk about on a day-to-day -day. Yeah. So uh, if, the, if the internet went down forever, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. So <laughs> I will say I did 10 days without like being on YouTube and whatnot, which was so weird, but I loved mm -hmm. it. I didn't have to address my phone. I hate my phone, by the way. I mean, I love it, and but I hate it. Right. I don't want to use it. But uh, yeah. yeah, I don't have anyone yelling at me. It's great. And I think yeah. that was a time that there was a, a lot of crap going down as per usual. Of course. Uh, Blabs, would you like to share the news with everybody that you shared in the, in the press? Yeah, message? so as I was saying, I was needed a confirmation from Critical Drinker. And as soon as I said that, I got an email from Critical Drinker and saying, yep, hey. he's coming on the show tomorrow. So confirmed Ooh. that is our All guest right. for tomorrow. Drinker joining the show tomorrow. Beep. That's awesome. That's great. First time. First time on the show, mm -hmm. which would be great. Uh, wow, Dave came and says, if anyone wants to wants a clear and concise guide to survival, uh, to survival in a disaster, read How to Survive the End of the World as We Know It by James Wesley Rawls. P.S. Uh, our practical advice and no BS. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate that. Very cool. It's uh, noted right up here. Uh, Ian so forth came in with a 25 European yeah. months. Says, you gotta say uh, uwu to Ian. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> with flat batteries blocking the roads out of the cities. It's <laughs> true. You. Oh my god. It's true. And push-ups came in. Says uh, the Chicombs know that they uh, that we have a nuclear weapon based in many countries and submarines. Uh, that can retaliate from from multiple directions. Attacking our grid is suicide. Suicidal. They know it. Deterrence works. I'm sorry, I don't know what she combs is. China combs. That's the thing, though, is I don't think I think I I think our government is acting like China is is threatening to do this, but it would really be an inside job. That's what I think. If it were to happen, I would think that our government did it. Oh, chai combs. Yes. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I butchered that. Uh, I've not heard that phrase before, but yeah. <laughs> As the, the one thing, as, as, as I've gotten older, the one thing I've realized is that I don't know shit, and I probably am realizing that the United States is uh, probably not the good guy in a lot of situations. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm with you. <laughs> says, uh, learn, uh, learn to can your own food, learn basic aid, buy extra rounds, train more skills and extra food. Uh, never did anyone harm. Thanks, Daniel. Yes, Appreciate I that. think the thing that you need to learn uh, to do the most is cardio. Because yeah. running long distances. What was that? Zombie land? When yes, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all the fat he's died for. <laughs> Which, I mean, hey, they can't run very long, right? Well, it's kind of tragic because they have the, the fat sources to not have to eat for a while. But unfortunately, they can't run. So it's just a dichotomy there. Yeah. Damn zombies, man. They'll get you. Mm. Also, give it up for Sam. Sam came in, picked up a shirt, the brand new high life shirt. Thank you so much, Sam. Appreciate that. Uh, Sue Farm is that yes, Sue Farm came in with a brand new high life shirt. Let's go, go pick it up right now. And Sam also picked up the brand new 
High Life shirt available right now, only available this month. Go pick it up right now. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for picking up those shirts. They're going to look nice in that merch. Yeah. Tonight. You know, somebody in the chat, like before, said that we should do a Tower Tard uh, t shirt. That'd be so funny. That, that would be, be amazing. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I, I would like a Tower Tard sticker, too. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that derp photo. The derp <laughs> photo. And then like toad toad at the bottom. <laughs> I like it. You just He's writing it down. He's like, write that down, write that down. Yeah, write it down, Blas. We'll, we will absolutely make a tower tard sticker. So <laughs> if, whenever something is, is tarted, you can just put Blas's face on it and everybody's just will know. right on there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Love it. I love everything about that. That's great. All right. Um <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Let's move on to uh, some stuff that we talked about yesterday. All right. Um, we were, we really dug in to Sweet Baby Inc. yesterday. And there was a lot, a lot uh, going on with that. And we we talked about it at length. We talked about the, um, the differences uh, and the similarities between Gamergate 10 years ago and um, what's happening right now with Sweet Baby Inc. And before we started, uh, you know, to be clear, Mel and I, Mel and I, and Mel and I, didn't know a whole lot about GamerGate because we were in the industry, but mm -hmm. it kind of flew past us as it was happening because we were both worried about our own shit. Yep. Uh, Dev came on, really explained it in depth for like two hours yesterday. And by the way, that full explanation was going to go up on the channel later today. So if you're looking for that explanation, it's a really great deep dive into it. It's it's still pretty high level. There's some deeper stuff in there, but. Um, the amount of of the spider web attached to uh, Gamergate was just absolutely fascinating. There's fascinating stuff to learn about. Now, it ties into Sweet Baby Inc. and all the insanity that's happening here. But I saw this earlier, and Grums is a guy I, I've, I've just started following. Grums actually is a is a former developer. Oh yeah, in in the uh, in the space, but he's a super base dude, and um, it's. He put this this uh, tweet out earlier today. Um, what you need to know is that Sweet Baby Inc. has an employee that goes by Lego Butts. And Lego Butts, um, super duper racist, right? Like, like said some really shitty things, right? And Lego Butts was also tied to Gamergate. So it all kind of like the, the spider webs all weaves together. But Grums put out this tweet and it's really pretty fascinating about the differences between Wikipedia in the United States and Wikipedia in China in particular. So this is the Gamergate uh, article in, in uh, Wikipedia. And I want to read this off to you. So this is what, if you're in the United States, you get. It says, Gamergate was, was a loosely organized, misogynistic online harassment campaign and right-wing backlash against feminism, diversity, and progressivism in video game culture. It was conducted using the hashtag Gamergate primarily in 2014 and 15. Beginning in August 2014, Gamergate targeted women in the video game industry, most, notable, most notably feminist media critic Anita Sarkeesian and video game developers Zoe Quinn and Brianna Wu. The harassment campaign included doxing, rape threats, and death threats. Gamergate proponents stated that there was a social movement uh, that said that they were a social movement. They lacked well-defined goals, a coherent message, and leaders making Gamergate difficult to define. Gamergators claimed to promote ethics in video game journalism, claimed to be protected by the, quote, gamer identity, and opposed what they asserted as, quote, political correctness in video games. Okay, so this is what this is what they posted here. This is the first two paragraphs. That is what the Wikipedia page in uh, for Gamergate says here in the United States. And as Lego puts put, uh, points out here, it says Lego Butts, um, or sorry, Grum's pointed this out. Uh, he says Lego Butts from Sweet Baby Inc., Zoe Quinn's PR person, and Sarkeesian worked hard to hide the real reason Gamergate happened. Wikipedia, a, a woke hive filled with cancel pigs was complicit compare the u.s version uh, to the chinese version where they had less influence so let's take a look at the chinese version of what they of what the gamergate article says it says the gamergate controversy grew out of a debate dominated by the hashtag 
uh, by the hashtag Gamergate. The controversy was framed by mainstream media as an issue between sexism and progressivism in video game culture, while Gamergate advocates called it a social movement against mainstream media's control of online public opinion. The term Gamergate is used to summarize the controversies, debates, and actions of those involved. Since 2014, it is centered uh, on game developer and writer Zoe Quinn, game developers and, polit and politician Brianna Wu, and feminist media critic Anita Sarkeesian. The debate began after Quinn's ex-boyfriend, ex Aaron, I don't know how to say his last name, wrote a blog post accusing her of having affairs with at least five men, users of the, of the hashtag Gamergate accused Quinn of sleeping with industry insiders in the gaming media in order to develop their own independent game depression quest. Uh, uh, their own independent game de depression quest uh, is paving the way for public opinion. So, um, so obviously there's way more context here in this. And that's where a lot of this started with the whole Gamergate thing. Uh, in, in the way that dev has described it was the idea that um, there was immense corruption in the video game journalism space. And to be clear, there appears to still be that corruption in the video game journalism space, which is why people are comparing uh, Sweet Baby Inc. to Gamergate 10 years ago. You can see the differences between uh, the U.S. linking of Wikipedia and the China Wikipedia article and that the U.S. version had no reference to the uh, the affairs and the article written by the boyfriend talking about uh, and by the way, the the five men that she slept with were all video game journalists. They all gave her great scores in the games. It was kind of like a like a pay for play type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. So it was pretty sleazy stuff that was happening right here. And then what happened is that they all kind of protected each other and painted this bigger narrative of of what Gamergate was, right? So um, so when you go to something like Wikipedia, you know, you get this you get this narrative, and. I know this personally because my brother, who is a musician who goes by Five Times August, who has carved out a very successful niche for himself while uh, while seeing the truth about things like COVID and censorship and uh, pretty much being anti-establishment in in his uh, with his music, he actually had his entire Wikipedia page. He had a Wikipedia page for about fifteen years, and during COVID. They actually, the Wikipedia uh, folks went in and they removed his page because he was not spouting the narrative. And they mm -hmm. they were like, "Listen, you can't say that." We're, you're, I think they used he wasn't relevant. They said he wasn't relevant to have a Wikipedia page. This is a guy with, you know, a uh, couple hundred thousand Twitter followers. Has a Matt, he's, who was the number who was the um, first independent artist it featured in Walmart. And he wasn't deemed as relevant to Wikipedia because he wasn't spouting the proper narrative. So with all that said, ladies, um, you know, th that gives you a little bit of background on Gamergate here and, and the idea, the idea behind it um, and uh, how this kind of ties into uh, kind of Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, and the chaos that they're that they're. Um, causing in the industry and they're kind of they're the ones in the, in the reticle right now the crosshairs uh this was popped up we talked a little bit yesterday about um the game developers conference and how sweet baby inc uh, they speak at a lot of these conferences the game developers conference this, and this takes place in san francisco and when you look at this um this speech took place in 2019 at the game developers conference and this is the ceo of Sweet Baby Inc. talking about bringing marginalized collaborators into these AAA studios and how they're able to do it. Uh, let's take a look at this video really quick. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. So threaten? That is so par for the course for that whole side of the mo of the movement people. I know they hate 
the term woke or whatever, but that's just so par for the course for them. It's like they use intimidation tactics through cry bullying through, okay, let's make them feel like they have to accept our ideologies or they have to uh, be, have consulting like this now, or they can't have female characters that look beautiful or this, that, or the other, because if so, then we're going to, uh, the, the social repercussions are going to be they're a bigot, they're a misogynist, they're this, they're that, they're the other. It is cry-bullying. This is very, and, and speaking of toxic things, this is a very toxic feminine tactic to use uh, as intimidation. Uh, they want to talk about toxic masculinity all the time, but this is toxic femininity in full force. If they can't get their way then they will manipulate you and they will try to ruin your reputation. So instead of, oh, we don't want people to think we're bad people, we have to fold, we have to cave, we have to do this, that, or the other and jump through their hoops. It's ridiculous. I want to I want to play this one more time just, just so we can hear this again because this is like, it's straight up threatening. It's straight up, yeah. it's, and, and then when they say like, hey, what are you talking about? We're just, we, they, they totally gaslight you on the way out, you know, and that's, that's the other thing that you see here. So I'm going to play this one more time. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. Let's listen to what this is. Build connections with marketing to express the value of, uh, of the, and the value of inclusion. Build connections. Okay. That's, that is a totally different statement to what she's about to mm -hmm. say. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for, when you ask, um, she's speaking in code. If they don't see the value in what you're asking for, AKA, if they don't agree with what yep. you're saying for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. As you pointed out, uh, Mel, the mob will come after you. The yep. mob, you, you should be terrified. Right. And I think that's the difference. Once again, going back to the date here, we're, we're talking about five years ago, almost, almost to the day, right? We're talking about, uh, you know, five, you know, four years and, and uh, almost five years here. The tone is shifted in that in the last five years, we've seen, we've seen a slippery, slippery slope uh, where people have been scared for their careers, scared for uh you know we have we have to put the black square in our twitter post we have mm -hmm. to uh put the Tried ukraine thing. flag we have to we have to support the current thing and now people are like get fucked we yeah. don't care like I, I think it has totally shifted back uh in the other direction and i don't know if this strategy will necessarily work anymore a sp mm -hmm. To a point, but I don't know, X-Ray, I would love to hear your thoughts it, on that. It kind of still, it still does work because we're trying to, like, I would say the people on YouTube that are talking about this, you're very informed of what's happening, but uh, the normie, they're still scared of doing certain things to yeah. not piss people off. So once the normies figure it out, however long it takes, I'm thinking maybe a few years uh, still, then we might see a change there. But I mean, I have... Um, I helped my mom. She's very uh, computer illiterate and she was doing some because she's a massage therapist. She was doing her yearly uh, stuff. And in it, there was a lot of language that deals with that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, yes, you want to be polite, but you can't just roll out the red carpet for every single person, you know. Right. So and the other big thing is it's affecting profits. It, if if mm -hmm. profits are affected, companies, the reason they're there is the money right? You yep. can't survive without it. So they're going to have to figure out how to do things. Otherwise the company will be gone eventually. Yep. I, uh, you talk about being polite, right? There's a difference between being polite. And I, I think that's, that's the thing that most people in this space, most people want to be polite. They mm -hmm. just don't like it when, when things are forced down their throat, like they don't, they, when they're forced, yeah. you know, like the idea yeah. of forced diversity, right? Um, I'm going to see if I can find this, find this tweet, uh, from a little bit ago, but, um, I, I like this tweet and it was, it really like, it really fucking nailed it. Uh, just kind of the differences between, uh, you know, how you know, there's a lot of like, when I grew up, when we grew up, um, and th that's almost how it feels right now, but there's definitely a, a, a strong pushback that's happening, um, 
in, in at least from a, from an online space. And I asked this yesterday, like the the game developers conference is happening here in like two weeks in in um, in San Francisco. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, like, I should go up there. Like, I should go up there. I, I, I it's too late to speak at an event like this. Mm -hmm. But I should go up there, and I should film like, it all. Go out, like, go out in the front of it, and and yeah. and talk about, like, look, we don't want this shit, you know, like, and and represent everybody there. I feel like I should absolutely be there and and hold up some signs and not not protest. But just let people know that you're in a bubble, and this bubble yep. doesn't extend to the rest of the world. Um, here you go. I found this tweet here, and I think this is like, this is absolutely brilliant. And it's kind of a long, long tweet, uh, but this actually was in response to um, to a Mark Cuban tweet. I don't know if you guys have followed Mark Cuban at all. Um, so Mark Cuban is the uh, owner, or was the owner of Dallas Mavericks. He still has uh, a little bit of ownership in it. Uh, but he was talking about, um, uh, he was responding to somebody about like, what do you think of racism? And, uh, and he said, uh, I think racism has become worse on the political edges of American society, uh, which makes it more, uh, virulent and impactful to people of color and women. People, uh, people can come on X and other platforms, re remain anonymous and find common, uh, find common ground with other racist, homophobes, anti-Semites, et cetera. Uh, that just make them more fervent, right? And he, he ends up uh, talking about, you know, that's his opinion on it. He's just saying it's 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 worse now because of X. Well, this was a a really great response to this. Uh, this is from this guy named Amir King. I'm not, I don't really know who this person is, uh, but he says, has racism and representation really gotten worse? Walk with me and I'll tell you exactly what the problem is. I was born in 1979. I got to experience the in, the entirety of the 80s and 90s evening television shows consisted of in living color family matters the cosby show fresh prince martin living single rock etc our superheroes were bo jackson Shaq, charles barkley Deion sanders mike mike tyson tiger woods and the greatest athlete of all time michael jordan eddie murphy and richard pryor absolutely owned comedy full stop Mr. T was the baddest man on the planet. We lined up to watch Wesley Snipes, Denzel Washington, Samuel L. Jackson, Danny Glover, Lawrence Fishburne perform magic on the silver screen. I witnessed the a, a new genre of black music skyrocket from the borough from a borough in New York and absolutely enchant the planet. There's no, there's not a peer my age that can't recite at least one NWA song. Even the most redneck, backwood, toothless motherfucker in Alabama can name one song off the chronic album. Our favorite teachers were black. Our coaches were black. Our, podiat podiatrici our, our podiatricians were black. Our neighbors were black. Our principals were black. And here's a real shocker for the right, white privilege mob. My parole officer was black. Now consider all the above and add to the fact, get ready for this one, none of us gave a fuck that any of these people were black. Nobody fucking cared. And therein lies your problem. That's the issue. The world stopped caring. It's no longer enough to simply simply be thriving and happy. It, uh, it, it has to be, look at me, I'm black. I'm an ancestor of slavery. You're the, real, you're the reason for all my problems. Look at what you did. Uh, you slaveried me, robbed the Wendy's because of you. Uh, same with LGBT. Look, I'm gay. Uh, can't you see how oppressed I am? Look at me, twerk on a dildo in a parade. You are oppressing me. I, I, I cut off my dick. Now that I have you, uh, now that I want to refer to as my vaginalina, or, or I'll report you, <laughs> HR, yep. and have you fired. And that's your problem. Everyone stopped giving a fuck, and many people couldn't take it. Look at the hashtags, blah, 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 blah. It's not enough to be in love, feel excellent, own a business, reach success on your own anymore. You got to be black. Re, Beyonce is queen. I built Egypt. I'm trans, pansexual, and this is my identity. They are my pronouns. It's a fucking cult, both of them. Prove me wrong. Wow. Gosh, so well that said. One. Very well said. And, and the problem, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, they, they want to force these kind of things on us and they want to try to, to take moral high ground. And, oh, if you don't agree, you're a bigot, you're a racist, you're a bad person. And 
And they use that to emotionally manipulate people. I just had someone yesterday reach out to me. Oh, I remember when you were so nice and you're not sharing joy anymore. Why aren't you sharing joy anymore? It's like, so I have to play with this whole, all of these shenanigans. I, I, we've reached a point where we're like, I don't care. Call me a bigot now. I don't care. What else are you going to do? Let people emotionally manipulate you? <laughs> exactly. And the goalpost always moves, right? Like when people actually are or were racist, it was downright mean. Like I watched mm -hmm. um, a Doctor Who episode set in 1913 and one of the kids were like, I don't know if you can even tell if that's dirty given the color of your skin. And I'm like, oh my God, that's actually like horrible to say. Now, apparently asking or saying that people like fried chicken is racist or whatever. I'm like, is it really though? Right. I'm seeing a set of, you know, things that a lot of people like a certain food. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Like it just, it, it, it's wild to me. Plus when we talk about these things about slavery and whatnot, you are in America and you're not a slave currently. Can you say you're oppressed? You were right. not a slave. You're, maybe your grandparents were. Yep. I can acknowledge that. Great, great, great grandparents. Yeah, I was gonna say 1800s. 1800s. Great, <laughs> great, great, great grandparents. Yeah. So, you know, there that's been what hundred years or so more that you aren't affected. So you can pull yourself out. A lot of immigrants come here and want the American life, and they go out and get it. So you can do it too. Mm -hmm. Yep. There, there's loans. You can borrow money, get an education or whatever it is to bring yourself further. So don't blame white people or all these other different types of people for your problems. It's yeah, you. Yeah. To but even you... bounce off what X was saying, do you guys remember like way back in the day with like the whole Harry and Markle, Meghan Markle debacle, and they were expecting their first child, and someone inside the family was like, Oh, what color do you think the skin will be? Because she's half black and he's super, super pale. And somehow trying to figure out, oh, what you think what color skin color will be like, will it be a bit more dark, more pale? Is somehow racist, but it's like the same thing as saying, like, oh, blue eyes or whatever. You think it's gonna have blue eyes or green eyes? Yeah. It's like everything is considered racist now. It's like but it's not. They're literally wondering, oh, how do you think the baby's going to be? Who's he going to look like? His mom or his dad? It's like everything is just racist. It's like, oh, don't you guys get tired of being victims 24-7? Yeah. Well, like, isn't it exhausting? And it's strange. Well, <laughs> because the, the reason they do it is because people have bowed down to them and given them more things because they scream victimhood. So right. they not, just continue doing it. And by the way, not just, not just figuratively. They've literally bowed down to them. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. physically. Yep. And which, mm -hmm. which once again goes back to goes back to what well, what does this have to do with video games? Everything it has everything to do with video games because everything like what it goes back to video games are the biggest biggest form of media on earth, like just destroying movies, destroying TV, outselling them all, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have people inside it. Saying um, if you're creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for, when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. That is why. That is what this has to do with video games. Yep. 100%. So you... What is it, a video game? Yes, this is a fucking video game podcast. Do you not understand? Do you not see the correlation between the two? If you don't, you're fucking blind. Mm -hmm. You're fucking blind. Yep. Or, or you're just, you're just too, too ignorant to, to not see it. And that's the thing. I, I don't understand how, how you don't. Britt came in. Thank you so much with the massive $50 super chat. Says, GG equals women. Uh, women gives it up to get ahead and gets mad when called out. That was always my understanding. Yeah, that's that's there, there's more to it there, Britt. But thank you very much. Appreciate that, Britt. You uh, you are going on the wall right there. Um, spectacular. Uh, and by the way, you, you were talking about being polite, X-ray girl. Uh, yes. And we are going to talk about uh, why you will have to be polite momentarily. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, because there's some shit going down. But first, Laz, we read these awful. I put mm -hmm. on the wall. Thank you very much. Mo Zamboni, member for one month. Loved the stream yesterday. Didn't know most lore be before ZQ causing guy to log out in Minecraft. Must watch so we don't repeat history. God bless everyone. That's right. 
M2M, with all the lady guests and side scrollers, I'm still waiting for the spin off podcast called Craig's Angels. <laughs> 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 Britt says, So the last show is tomorrow. Nowhere to go but down after you have a drinker on. He is peak internet guest, lol. <laughs> And let's see, Cesario, I know Melanie's apocalypse scenario. The Norwegian butter crisis of 2011. $50 for a stick of butter or an organized black market smuggling operations. Was that a thing? Wow. It sounds like a thing. That. But Melanie, ha her family you know, yeah. has a cow, so. Yep. Two cows now, so. Two. Oh, it was it jerseys, right? She got the oh, cute yeah, ones. Two jerseys. <laughs> so yeah, no butter it. shortage here. <laughs> Um, Corey, Melanie, can you convince X Ray and Blabs to play Tomb Raider Remastered on stream? <laughs> One day I want will. to. One day I will. <laughs> I bought the <laughs> entire Tomb Raider series when it was on sale uh -huh. uh, a couple months ago. So the plan is oh, to nice. go through them at some point. I is just have a massive out? backlog of games. It's like never ending, it's just piling it up. No. Um, <laughs> animating Andy, another level up confirmed. <laughs> Thank you, animated Andy. Uh, Ginger Beard member for two months. Side Scroll has become one of my favorite daily shows. Great guests, great subjects. Blabs is hilarious and gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, hi, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> push ups, wrong. America's the greatest country on earth. God bless hey, America. I mean, hey, push ups. Agreed. We, uh, to, be, to be clear, I 1 million percent agree. I think America is the greatest country on earth. But it doesn't mean it doesn't have its flaws. Yeah. It's not perfect. We have yep. more protection with all the freedom of speech and the Constitution than other countries do. So that's a huge bonus. Well, and that's the thing is if we don't start speaking out against what these ideologies and what's going wrong in the country, then it won't be the best country in the world. Like, this is why we have to defend it so strongly. And we have to, to call things out when we see it. Mm-hmm. Um, Al Fiverr, I want to say, gifted five memberships. So thank you, thank you very much. Okay, Let's wow. go. Thank you very much. That puts us at seven today, going for mm. our goal of 25. Thank you very much, Al. Methodist says, forgot to mention earlier, I'm training 25 today. Ooh, 25. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 oh my goodness. Entering that your is, prime, buddy. Yeah, you're like a, what's it, a quarter of a century. Good God. Okay. Um, Anthony, almost everyone in entertainment follows Baphomet. Yep. Uh, Okay. Um, let's see. Melanie is Stone Cold Austin Steve, Steve Austin in gaming. <laughs> Give me a That's what's yeah. wild to me is because I consider myself like I've always been such a pushover person and so weak. And so for now to be called edgy, this, that, and the other, I'm like, wow, society's really gone soft if if someone as weak as me is considered that. <laughs> Uh, Dave Chandler says, just because the tone has shifted, don't start thinking these maniacs are going away. The woke never quit, and they have to be opposed wherever they yep. are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Thanks, Dave. Eugene, I would love to know of other Sweet Baby Inc. like companies like this. It's really irritating, and the community does not deserve this. Well, there's another one, isn't there? Um, what is it? Something Ghost? There, listen, this is, the, this is the tip of the iceberg. Like they're, mm -hmm. the, they're the ones in the crosshairs right now, but there's probably a dozen of them out there. And, you know, I, we were talking about solutions to all this. I, I really feel like a, a, the solution is to create the anti Sweet Baby Inc. consulting company to where yep. you go in and your job as the consultant is to, to be like, yeah, just remove all that shit. Remove that shit. This is this is dumb. They, they, like, and, and speak for the the common gamer, um, the, you know, and, and to where you're like, yeah, they, nobody wants that shit. Nobody wants that shit, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that'd be that'd be really great. Uh, White Wolf has become a member for one month. And he says, we locked Asians oh. in intermittent caps after Pearl Harbor. None of them are complaining about that. Exactly. The Irish aren't complaining the about Asians their hatred. Complain. The Italians aren't yelling when, you know, they were being treated like shit. What's that extra? <laughs> I was going to say, the Asians never complain when it comes this to this true. sort of stuff. They usually <laughs> just like staying quiet and doing their own thing. Usually. I'm just saying like the immigrant ones. Mm -hmm. the Winterfell, won't lie, this has me very uneasy. We'll wait until we have to say what's coming up next. <laughs> uh, crispy Chicken gifted 10 memberships. Yay! Thank you so much, Crispy Chicken. Let's go. Look at it. 
Um, David Law says, Lara and Butter and Mel's background look like they're posing to promote a sitcom. She raids Tomes. He, he's a stick of butter. Can they share an apartment without getting on each other's nerves? <laughs> <laughs> and Push Up says, love you guys. Let freedom ring. U.S. Yeah. All so, right. Well, well thank you guys up. very much. Also, I want to point out that uh, several other people have picked up the brand new High Life shirt. Let's go. Go pick it up right now. Oh. Available from the gun. This month only. Uh, Zed picked one up. Snapple picked one up. You, me, and the movies picked one up. Oh. Says, Yee-haw. Snapple <laughs> says, thanks for making great content. Size scrollers team working on saving up $100 so Craig can sing Hank, <laughs> can sing in Hank Hill like uh, like any middle-aged Texas man. <laughs> thanks, Snapple. Uh, and the Coconut picked up the brand new High Life shirt available only this month over on the store. Once again, link down in the description. Thank you guys very much for picking those up. Go get it. Uh, Mighty Megatron over on Rumble says, I'm ready, Craig. I have my water, food, and ammo ready to go. First ones to go will be the left. So I welcome natural selection. Thank you very much, Mighty Megatron. <laughs> uh, uh, Bentley Guy says, I want a Tower Tard plushie that speaks in one-liners in the Tower Tard voice. Make it happen, Blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, um, I would like to are... add you to my plushie collection if you do Oh, my do. God. That'd be fun. Just sit on Tard. X-ray's shelf. <laughs> yeah. Tower card blast plushie. Let's see if we can make it happen. Oh, uh, dude says one of the Wikipedia founders despises what Wikipedia has become. He has been speaking against his creation for years now. Uh, he has been on many podcasts talking about it. Yeah, I have actually spoken to him back in the old weekdays with Craig and Brad show that I did with my brother a long, long time ago during uh, the COVID time. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for uh, picking up all the shirts. Your, your support has been spectacular. Uh, speaking of spectacular support, Sparta Chris came in with a fifty dollar. Super chat. That is spectacular. Blabs, read it off. All right. Sparta Chris says, I once had a friend for a number of years, but sadly ended because I used the phrase that seemed harmless to me for years after he conceded a playful fight. He then sent me a site of phrases that were no no, and I said, I'm not changing. Oh, no, no. You good cannot. Good for you, Sparta. Good for mm-hmm. you. That's always a bummer when stuff like that happens. And I think, you know, uh, a lot of us here. Uh, have experienced things like that and losing friends because we haven't changed our speech or changed our ideals with this ever changing society. Um, And it's sad to lose friends, but it's worth it to stand strong and not let these people emotionally manipulate us. Be who you are. Yes. Thank you very much, Sparta Chris. Hey, you got new friends, better friends. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on to uh, to our next story here, and this one has this one is just absolutely balls, just batshit crazy. Um, are you familiar with the new proposed bill in Canada to address uh-huh. quote online harms? Have you heard this? Actually, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've heard of it. I could okay. go to jail any day, apparently, from this podcast. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I would be in jail just from my <laughs> tweets from the past few days alone. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'll let you uh, do your little intro. But re- regardless, if you go to jail for online hate speech, there are people who do vastly worse things that are in there for less time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You right, beat up people in America and you get released like the same day. It's right. or, or you just don't go to jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but like you just you just revolve around the swinging door and you just go right back out and do it again. All right. So here we go. Proposed bill to address online harms. The internet is an exceptional tool for people of all. And by the way, this is from Canada.ca. So this is the official website here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a great place for people to uh, learn, play, and connect with family, friends, and those similar interests. However, just like the outside world, the digital world can pose significant dangers. Social media can be used to exploit children, promote self-harm to children, incite, speak of the children, incite violence, uh, put people's safety at risk, and foment hate. Online harms have real world world impacts with tragic and even fatal consequences. The government of Canada has introduced legislation to hold social media platforms accountable for addressing harmful content on their platforms and for creating a safer online space that protects all people in Canada, especially kids. (laughs) The proposed online harms act, which once again, the branding online harms act, would specifically target seven types of harmful content. 
Here we go. Buckle up. Content that sexually sexually victimizes a child or re-victimizes a survivor. Okay, so don't fuck with kids. Yeah, you know what? I'm on board. I'm with okay that. with that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's fine. Intimate content communicated without consent. Okay, so like if somebody sends you a, a you know a, a picture of their boobs, you put it online or something. Okay, you know like leaks. Okay. <laughs> content used to bully a child. Okay, and here's the word here: bully. What does that mean? Right. Content that induces a child to harm themselves. Okay. Content that foments hatred. Bingo. Okay. Now we're now we're on the edge of the slope. Okay. Here we are. Uh, content that incites violence. Here we are. Okay. Now, like all everything up here, you know what? I'm okay with here. Content that incites violent extremism, extremism or terrorism. Okay. So here's the last three here. Uh, what does this mean? What does content that foments hatred and what does yeah, content exactly. that you know what? This mean? is exactly the bill they would have totally introduced before the truckers because they would have hit everyone mm. for that. It's probably why they're introducing it now because of the truckers. True. Prevent it from happening again. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, silence. That's what, yeah. I uh I had a TikTok video taken down for inciting violence or my tweet limited because i used my favorite word uh the f slur and it's like how is that inciting violence going lol f slur yeah how is that inciting violence like look at um when as got banned for putting the quote from oh, game of thrones game of thrones all men yeah. must die like he got in a lot of trouble but then you know uh i forgot who does the uh breakdowns of like stats of other people who may have said even worse things mm-hmm. there twitter still exists they never got banned yep. it's wild so things like that i probably would get in trouble for <laughs> and then uh yeah well people say why uh, look you're in america what's it matter right well people say well you're in the uk what's it matter because things like this have been passed in certain countries and then then copycatted over to other countries once they've seen to be successful they use this as a test subject uh to use in in other in other countries uh, here's another article from uh, this is now this is CTV News, which is a uh, extension of the of the Canadian government up there. Um, so here's what it says: it targets specific types of harmful content, adds fresh possi- fresh responsibilities for online platforms. The bill would usher in new rules for online platforms, one of which is broadly defined as they said broadly defined as the duty to act responsibly. Once again, according to who companies would be expected to reduce exposure to harmful content by continuously addressing risks, developing mitigation strategies and providing tools to uh, for for users to flag content. Here's here's the interesting thing about this is that when you OK, apparently the way this is laid out is a regular user can flag someone for hateful content. They can then bring it to this this uh, group that is formed to decide what is hateful content. And if you are deemed hateful, then you can be fined and or uh, placed on house arrest in this situation. Oh, and so and the person who has <laughs> the the, cra- the craziest most, most batshit thing about it is that the person who then submitted the um, the complaint number one they're anonymous and number two apparently they get rewarded with money yes <laughs> and it doesn't Wait, end a just reward? there yes it doesn't wow. end just there anyone can report you it doesn't even have to be a canadian citizen anybody it incentivizes Ooh. people to bully others then yes, in it's a literally state. it's literally you know that tweet that gina Carano got fired for when she was like huh ah, the government's trying to get the you know people to go against your neighbors that's literally what the canadian government is currently wanting to do they want your neighbors to spy on each other no it's they've like, already done that though yeah like, they've done it and now they blow yeah but now they want you to do it even more and it's have to be canadian citizen it doesn't you could just be in cad and be like wow. i don't like this report and these people can get like arrested they can get fined like it's insane this is like stalin stuff where they're like censoring each other and reporting on each other i feel very oppressed by the canadian government can you I should be fight them uh can i call them bullies you know you can go <laughs> you sh- everyone should go and report trudeau for hate speech 
Because, you know, how many times has he missaid the LGBTQ XYZ stuff? Mm-hmm. Right? So, yeah. like, yeah. hate speech. Report and him. and who, wow. you know, who are you to say you're not offended by that? Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you are offended by their um, rules against them, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Right. who finds it? But the uh, you're going to see, and I, I, if there's money to be made, there's going to be an industry built around this man where you're going to see entire companies that are built to police online content. Because, you, by the way, this is not just oh, like yeah. a small reward. This is like thousands of dollars that you that you receive for for this. So wow. if you can go in and make 10, 15, 20,000 dollars from reporting people for for my feelings, my god, that is a dangerous dangerous stuff about the slope, man. We are Also, that's a bad use of your money, Canada. What the hell? We're in debt. <laughs> and, <laughs> Why are we paying people for reporting people? Yeah. What? Apparently, on top of this as well, it's all retroactive to where that you they can look back at your it's not like starting on January 1st, 2025. <laughs> this is your entire online history. Yep. You can be modern day. So you can go back ago. and be like, that doesn't fit. That doesn't wow. fit. And that offends me from when you said that in 19, you know, 99 on a on a <laughs> On nice a social page or whatever on, <laughs> yeah. on, on AOL, you know, on AOL and chat room. It's terrifying. So we're essentially and, canceling people legally now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And getting rewarded for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. see a lot of and you can you can see how many people will actually consider doing this because they're having so many financial issues because they can't afford to pay their bills. So they're like, well, shit, if I just go and do this, I get money. And I mean, they'll probably be like, oh, shit, this is like the worst thing in the world, but I got to feed my kids. Well, I mean, think about this. If you are, let's just say you're a policeman, right? <laughs> like you could make, you could probably make more money sitting online finding people that upset you than you could being a, a regular yeah. officer, you know, yeah, <laughs> like exactly. really there. Will, I'm telling you, there will be entire cottage industries made up of companies that all they do is go online all day and spout yeah. my yeah. feelings. That hurts me. Well, as it is right um, now, these obese, they, thems on Twitter do it for free. So they're definitely <laughs> going to be doing all this mm-hmm. for some money. <laughs> <laughs> And they're only going to be rewarded for it, which is the yeah. most messed up thing oh about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get me out of Canada, please. <laughs> Come to Texas. I know. I want to. I want to. <laughs> We're waiting for a lot of things to line up first. All right. Yes. Can um, you move uh, in with Gary? Just live in the basement or something? Uh, uh, hey, I'd be down for that. If he doesn't get annoyed with me, great. I would love to. Making Kawanga says monetizing feelings. That's right. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, as Nerdy Neo says, a cottage industry. Yeah, it's as pointed out it's, here. The description is a usual small scale industry carried out on a home by family members using their own equipment. Right. So a very small very small uh, industry right there. So uh, not very small is Elsid Barrett's $50 super chat. Blabs, read it off for me, please. Yeah, so Elsid says, in Canada, it can be argued that not affirming a child's gender is causing harm. When they say bullying and violence, it just means anything they don't approve of, including traditional thought. Can anyone in the U.S. house me? See, we're going to start being <laughs> infiltrated by, like, the southern you know border what? and the northern border. Now. Can, like, I'm coming to save you. We can go to the southern border and enter in that way and maybe even get money. So let's do oh it. Oh, my God. There you go. Started on freaking <laughs> the border patrol in America and customs and visas. They're so stupid. I got to be honest. I, I, speaking of cottage industries, I think that's something we, we should uh, – we should uh, create a, a, a home for, for podcasters and creators in Canada who want to escape and allow them to use For use our you know, big mansion. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Buy a mansion, create a constant house. I think that'd be that'd be brilliant. <laughs> Go. I love it. I love it. Just thinking out loud. You're just saying it could could work. Could work pretty well. <laughs> you know what also works well is kinetic. Picking up the brand new highlight t-shirt. Let's go, kinetic. Das Pooch also picks ones up. Says love the side scrollers. Thank you so much, Das Pooch. Crazed Link also picked up the brand new. 
High Life t-shirt available this month only and Super Cockmaster 3000 also picking one up. Thank you so much, Super Cockmaster, picking up that brand new High Life t-shirt. Link in the description right there. Go on, and By the way, Super Cockmaster, co-owner of the name, the naming rights of the uh, Super Kratos 3000 behind me. That is the name of the wall. By the way, signage going up very, very soon. I have finished the logo for that. Uh, the Super Kratos 3000 wall of support. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, Mercenary came in with the $1. Uh, he says, uh, the thing about Sweet Baby Inc. just proves my theory that karma is God's point system and these guys hit the negative jackpot. Then again, I also believe BlackRock is involved in this. Gamer Gate is, gonna, is going to be uh, bigger this time uh, ever with, with, uh, with BlackRock. Unfortunately, I don't believe Gamer Gate was a fight between good and evil because uh, these people have done so many actions that prove to me that there there were nothing but evil. Uh, you have to understand this is a spiritual war we in we're in, mm. uh, just another front of it. So, thank you, mercenary. Appreciate that. All right, uh, X Ray. I know. I know. We only have you for a few more minutes, know, or, really or do you need am. to bounce now? Um, I just wanted to make sure before the topic changed that I uh, bounce. So you can read like a few more super chats if you want. Okay. Well, let's see if anybody has any super chats for uh, for X Ray. Get well, them in now. How about this? How about I do the two minute review so uh, X Ray understands what the Epstein Island is? Perfect, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever, with new intro, it's time for a two minute review. It's time for a two minute Ooh. review. Okay, All right, guys. Go so ahead, the other day, I was gifted Epstein Island on Steam. And it's not a good game. As you guys ex expected, it is a survivor game. You have to go on this island and try to win. There's like some quests for you to do, and I will actually share my screen so we can see this. But it's very hard to see because it's just kick quality is really shit. But it says like active quest. And it's like quest Epstein. We need to gather wood. So you have to find wood. You have to get stones and all that. But it's not really about Epstein. Like there's random characters and there's like a whole bunch of wheelchairs and things around the island for Stephen what? Hawking. And like there's characters <laughs> named, yeah, there's a whole bunch of wheelchairs everywhere. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> it's so there was, they're like everywhere. Like there's like these random like <gasps> zombie guys and they're called like Donald. Uh -huh. And I'm assuming that might be for like Donald. Trump. I'm not really Whoa. sure. Yeah, your character's basically half ass naked until he can find more things. But like here, perfect wow. example right here. So this character right here is called MJ. And I'm assuming it's for like Michael Jackson. I don't know. But you can become friends with him and he can go around killing other people for you because he's either got a sword or a gun. So he can kill other NPCs for you what? who are trying to kill you. There's also midgets in this game. It's really weird. <laughs> That's also a Stephen Hawking thing. Yeah, you can lead one tap midgets and they die. Um, <laughs> representation in this it, game. Yeah, this game Perfect. is great. horrible but fun. So if you want to play it just the one time, sure. Otherwise, the pro the, the I think the biggest issue with this game is that whenever you die, you get spawned back in the same spot like almost every single time, and you have to start all over again. Not the quest except for our current quest. So let's say you need that you on like 15 out of 30 rocks you had to gather. You got to start from zero for that. But you got to start all over again. So if you're on one side of the island, you have to make your way all the way over there again. So it's very repetitive and it gets very frustrating in that sense. There's, like I said, there's a lot of random ass wheelchairs all over the place and they're just Did there. You beat that scene? What? Did you beat them? No, I, I don't even know who Epstein, like, <laughs> there is no Epstein in this game. Like, there's just, like, there's midgets, there's MJs, there's pirates, but there's That's no amazing. Epstein that I could find. Now, I didn't finish the game. I gave up about, like, an hour and a half in, but there were some extra boss fights that you could do. Yeah, the only reason it's called Epstein is to bring people in. It's just okay. a survive. It's just a really Love one it. man survivor game. Like some Love one it. dude in his mom's basement made this. I'm assuming, but it's on Steam. I was gifted it by Extra Zero, so shout out Extra Zero. <laughs> it zero. was interesting. Give us a score one one out of five. A one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! no. Yeah, no. it was not that great, guys. It was not That's that sad. great. Oh well. All right. Well, X-Ray, thanks yeah. for joining us today. Appreciate <laughs> you. Sorry, you. Sorry you had I to end on such a down note. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Okay. Get this before I go. The last super oh. chat that just came in. Oh! What? Holy shit! 
Good oh God. Oh, my. <gasps> wow. Ooh. That's a great wow. way to leave. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. K C Z seven with a four hundred ninety nine dollar and ninety nine cent. I want to see all the thumbs up on that. It says go forth and be excellent to each Love other. It. Wow. Wow. Great words, sir. Super chat ever on the channel. We've had larger direct donations. That's the largest super chat we've ever seen before. Amazing. Wow, that is ridiculous. Uh, I got a promise for you, KCZ. We will be excellent to each other. Thank you so much. Do me a favor. Okay. Look at that. Cheers. Look at that. Thank Look you. Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> mm, that was awesome. Love it. Thank you, KCZ7. Look at that. He's got to take his skateboard down and everything. Framed right, right there in the here. center. Love right there <laughs> in the center. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. but, uh, that is ridiculous. Wow. Thank you for having me on. It was so fun. Yeah. I got to run. Uh, I have an appointment to get to, um, which came up randomly because I have so much crap going on in my life right now. <laughs> Labs knows. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Aww. Thank you hey, for coming. We do me one favor. Tomorrow, on Mark's birthday, give him some extra steak. <laughs> oh, extra butter. I am see it. I extra got it. Extra meat. Extra <laughs> meat. <Gotcha. laughs> hey, and yes, so much. Have a great uh, day, okay? Promoting Mark's stream tomorrow, birthday, give him love. Okay? Mm. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you, Mark's day. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Wow. Wowie zowie. What a great well, This is just insane. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. We have wow. to play it. Craig. Amazing. We have to play it. Developers, 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 developers. Yes. Every time, but yes. I, I, I'm writing it down. We need, we need a Steve Ballmer emote. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <absolutely. laughs> Absolutely. I'm writing it down right now. Holy moly. All right. Uh, golly, you guys have been spectacular today. Thank you very much. Mm. We are currently sitting at 17 members on our goal of of, uh, of 25. Um, also, not to be outdone, sweet googly mookly. Kelly has picked up the brand new High Life t-shirt available what? right now. Thank you so much, Kelly. It's an awesome shirt. I love it. Shaker also picked up the brand new High Life t-shirt. And Psychotic Mongoose also picked up the Side Scrollers High Life Limited Run t-shirt available right now. Link is in the description. Thank you very much. We greatly appreciate y'all's support. That is spectacular, and we greatly appreciate mm -hmm. that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. That's great. Whew. All right. Um, yes, uh, that for sure. Uh, I'm going to tell you this right now. That is uh, spectacular, and uh, that is the uh, right now KCZ7 owns the big pickle. <laughs> <laughs> <for the day. laughs> uh, owns the big pickle for sure. All right, let's. Uh, I wanted to get to this Nintendo story today, but I don't think we're going to get a chance to get to that. Uh, but just the TLDR on it is that uh, the Switch emulator, the people, did you hear about the story, Mel, with the Switch emulation and all that? Uh, I heard a little bit about it. Wasn't there potentially a lawsuit or something going on? Yeah, so they settled, and the Yuzu has to go in and pay Nintendo two point four million dollars, and they have to like pack up shop. That's pretty much it. So, so Nintendo now owns everything that Yuzu Yuzu created, uh, and they went after them, and and uh, Yuzu is pretty much getting ratioed uh, in a, in a major way on their Twitter posts. They're like, well, you know, we got beat pretty much, and Nintendo and blah blah blah. And you can tell by Citra. the uh, I used Citra before for uh like DS emulation. Yep. Oh my goodness. All gone. It's all gone. Oh, so that Nintendo now owns it all. Yep. That, yep. You know what really sucks about a lot of this kind of stuff is Nintendo won't even make a lot of these older titles available. So it's like we just can't play some of them at all. It's ridiculous. Yep, you're out. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are out. You know, that's the thing is like they, they now take it, they own it and uh, they will shelf it. 
Or yep. may, maybe they'll use it for the Switch 2, um, some technology in there. Who knows? But it's tough. You know, I, I very much see both sides of, of the argument on this. I see it from a, uh, from a company side. I, I also see it from a consumer side because what, what these emulators have done is they've uh, more or less bettered the original product. Uh, and but from a mm -hmm. from a yeah. corporation side, you're saying, well, how come I, you know, uh, they're saying, you know, this cost us money. It's done irreparable harm because these people aren't buying our products. So I understand it from both sides. If there's if there's some right. way, if there's some way to kind of find a medium medium ground where emulators can work with the with the developers, that's that's where there's real money, man. That'd be ridiculous. Um, that'd be great. And a Saint G points out he's like uh nintendo can remove one but there'll be another 100 percent. it's like yeah. uh hydra man you're gonna th there will be a next one for sure for sure and by the way like it's amazing that they just had 2.4 million dollars laying around i you know, know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what yeah. i like how wow yeah and 2.4 million dollars is is a drop in the bucket for nintendo that's like eh, oh, whatever yeah. you know yeah, yeah. so all right, uh, Lord Spleet says, I think we need to look into look to Japan for uh, non-forced diversity games. Thanks, Lord Spleet. Appreciate you. Nice uh, game genie avatar, by the way. Uh, Anthony says, the real conspiracy of the Titanic says everything. You know, I need to get Adam on to talk about that. He's he's big on the Titanic conspiracy thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. with the IRS, right? The Federal Reserve and everything. Yeah, yeah, there is a bigger thing there. Uh, Devon came in and says, Sweet Baby Dump should be forced to eat uncooked cheese for the rest of their <laughs> life. <laughs> My boy. Thank you, Devon. Appreciate you. Thoughtysaurus Rex says, Very true. America is the best country. Why, uh, why else does the entire globe come to migrate here? A couple Spanish, uh, a Spanish couple defended India that is known as a dangerous place for women after the wife was gang great. <gasps> I saw that. And then they're, yeah. And then they get on a video afterwards. just like, just, just wanted you guys to know India is still amazing. India is still great. This, that, and the other. It's like, okay. <laughs> I'm sure your wife's saying that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Some, all... One commenter said, I can see the respect she has from her husband leaving her body <laughs> as he's saying this. <laughs> Man, you got to really hate America to have your wife to have that happen to your wife and still say that the country is better than America. Yeah. Like you got to really, there's got to be something really messed up. Who Nissan came back. says, sweet baby, just using, uh, just be using us government tactics. Remember to pay those taxes by April or something might happen to you. Taxation. <laughs> is theft. There you, go, Nissan. you know what's going on. The Rand man says, I'm not racist. I, I just like everyone equally. Here you go. <laughs> That's the attitude we need. Everyone yes, <laughs> I respect it. Nissan came in and says, uh, remember, re remember, kids, George Washington was a tailwist. Canadian bill is <laughs> designed for suppression and nothing else. Uh, let me just grab this one real fast on kick. Goes nowhere, does nothing, has subscribed to side scrolls. They have been subscribed for a total of three months. So shout out to you. Thank you very much. Outstanding. Uh, Desiree came in and says, yes. this reminds me so much of what my mom's family went through in Cuba with neighbors snitching on each other. Oh, what a nightmare. Desiree, great to see you. Thanks so much for your support over on Kick. Really appreciate that. And Winterfell says the Germans use these use this tactic. Yeah, that's the Canadian stuff, man. It's nuts. Sparta Chris says incentivizing reporting someone isn't that what tyrants encourage? Yes. Yet the progressive left claims to be the moral bedrock of society. Because they're all asleep and sheep. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Anakin's burnt wiener. Oh my god! <laughs> it continues. The lore expands. This, who determines this was exactly... a whole thing. Oh yes, I recall. He says, "Who who determines exactly what is hate speech?" Exactly. exactly. Thank you, Anakin's, Anakin's burnt, wiener. burnt wiener. By the way, look at his uh, look at his avatar. It's oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Love of Green came in and says, if you're out of Hugbees, he's a, he's a gaming YouTuber I, I used to enjoy. He makes one post about getting the coup for Xmas, and his audience goes into mask meltdown mode. That's the yeah. one audience you don't want. Yes. Uh, fickle. Fickle Lover of Green, for sure. Max says, 
Uh, the CD uh, the Canadian law is because Trudeau's poll numbers are in the toilet. He won't win in 2025. Give me 10 life sentences, Justin Trudeau. I don't give a fuck. Uh, just, Justine Castro. I don't give a fuck for my cold, dead hands. Max, you be careful up there, buddy. You could be you could be cited for that. Uh, Torwin says Trudeau b- bought a former SS Yahtzee into mm-hmm. Parliament uh, where they gave him a standing ovation and hailed him as a hero. Is that hate speech in, Can- in Canada? Yeah, it's ridiculous. He actually did. He's like, look at this brave man. Everyone's like, that's a Yahtzee. <laughs> I, and it's retroactive, too. So, mm-hmm. you know, you can go back and, and be upset about that, which is great. Uh, das Pooch says, biggest reason Gamergate exploded is often forgotten. And no, this was fascinating, Melanie. I don't know if you saw this. A slew of articles written on 82814 by people like Leah Alexander, who wrote the, the Gamers Are Over article. That was the match on the gasoline. So, uh, so what happened was all of these outlets, Kotaku, IGN, Destructoid, uh, whatever, Gama Sutra, they all went down and they all released pretty much the exact same article. Uh, like within a day or two of each other within a, it was a very coordinated attack. Um, like they all got together, all these, all these journalists in a, in a chat room together and they all pretty much cited each other as, 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 um, experts in the field. And mm-hmm. it was so like, it was one of those, like, are you serious right now? Like this wow. is really happening. Like people looking at this, it's like, um, the way it was explained to me was it was so obvious that this was that it was such a coordinated thing. Yeah. And then they just gaslit. They're like, what are you talking about? I don't know. It's just something that needs to be talked oh, about. Oh, my. So, <laughs> yeah, this is a joke. Uh, Mo came in says, marketing and HR are the issue. Most companies' uh, debts are overran with slacktivists and not kept in check. Fix these departments and places like Sweet Baby Inc. lose a lot of sway. 1,000%. Cody says, correction, the liberals with NDP party Support our uh, support our party support are pushing this. The, the Conservatives Party and Quebec Party aren't and will block the bill. Trudy is mad. Thanks, Cody. <laughs> Hopefully that happens. Uh, Sparty says, "X Ray, maybe you can move in with Gary and do the tours them." Yes, yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> the lady in the East Coast did it. Thank you, Sparta Chris. Patter Craig, uh, Patter Gag, Greg says. Uh, glad to see the SBI circus burning. Also, Rip Yuzu. Congrats, Nintendo. Not like people want to preserve games or avoid modern modern remixes or censorship. Thanks, Patrick Kicker. I appreciate that. Master Bader came in. Says a lot of us, a lot of games use the same engine just to scam people out of money. Some guy, uh, some guy just knew naming it Epstein's Island would make money. Yeah, and uh, yeah, true. He, he was right. He was right. <laughs> Anthony says, Sad, uh, sadly, part of my family is Canadian. Major libs. Sorry, Anthony. It's rough. Push up says, Mel, is Jujitsu Kaisen completed or ongoing? Uh, Jujitsu right. Kaisen is still ongoing. There's two seasons right now uh, and a movie. Uh, I recommend watching it either season one, movie season two, or you could watch it movie season one, season two. Um, but yeah, uh, season two just wrapped up. Uh, it's still going. The manga That's is still going as well. And K from Melee Games gifted five mm-hmm. memberships to the channel, putting us at 22 for the day. That is excellent. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, K. And it was a pleasure to have you on yesterday. Great stuff. I have uh, a lot also, of memes, I just want to say. We're going to get to memes in just a second. Just a second. Also, Teebs picked up the brand new High Life t-shirt available right now. Available until they're gone, only this month. And so did Marty M. Says, love the show. Keep providing common sense. You got it, Marty. Appreciate that. Go pick up your limited edition High Life t-shirt right now. Link in the description. Let's stink and go. Um, And Kratos, El Gratos Blabs. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. (laughs) Uh-oh. Has come in with a fifty dollar direct. Ooh, my mouse was hovering over the sixty nine for sixty nine. I was like, oh, which one is it? Because <laughs> it may not be the big pickle today, but I have got a special video meme. It meme him coming on Twitter. There's a reason I asked Mel to sing Jingle Bells on Friday. Let's go! All right, can't wait to see it. Uh, all right, let's uh, go fire away. What do, what do we got today from the meme perspective? <laughs> Super no. Lizzo Moon. <laughs> right off the bat. Then we have 
much yeah. grass, you fig. My Facebook, what do I do? <laughs> uh, here's x-ray in her igloo. That is cute. Um, I'd like to hear message in a bottle because it's obviously sting, like from the police. And then we have <laughs> this one. Outside. No, I like staring at the moon. Don't you just ever go outside go out? It's so nice. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. I have a really cool <laughs> grooves on the moon and stuff too. So it's like, who's there? Is there a Martian there? <laughs> no, I like staring at the moon. Okay. <laughs> and here is it's the again. amazing one. I'm it's no. happened again. <laughs> Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. This time it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa serial killing. We will be charging four counts of first degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received over 5,000 tips in this case. But it turns out you can much of what she was signing was nonsense. She was <laughs> Like she was singing jingle bells, says one outraged sign language expert. <laughs> this woman, identified as Durlin Roberts, has a string of arrests for fraud. So how did she come to be translating at last week's high-profile police news conference? Oh, brilliant. Tampa Police Public Information Officer Steve Hegarty told me the woman simply showed up out of the room and offered her services. My immediate reaction was... I didn't call for a sign language interpreter, but that's great that we have one here. I let her in. Did this woman appear to know what she was doing? To the untrained eye, and that would include mine, um, I didn't see any problems. This latest embarrassment <laughs> comes three months after it was revealed that the sign language interpreter at our Hurricane Irma news conference, also in Florida, made no sense. The time to act is now. This is brilliant. Is summing up the latest goof. We won't be using that woman again. I cannot say this was not a crime, but it was an ethical violation. It was not a crime, but it was an ethical violation. That was amazing. And now we um, have this one. Hi, happy Supermoon Tuesday. Happy Supermoon Tuesday. Uh, I guess this is my excuse for being uh, crotchety today. Is that loaded, everybody else, or just me? Uh, just it is loaded. loaded. Yeah. Oh, it's low. It's just, I can't raise it up anymore. And that's like crotchety and grumpy and, you know. <laughs> Craig. Craig, you're so happy. Yay. Look, you're smiling. Oh. Hi. Uh, okay. That is Thanks, everything. Robin. Let me see. All right. Refreshing. Uh, that's great. Yeah, that's it. Harden Soul came in and says, read my tweet uh, about the Yuzu settle. Uh, I, I'm looking on Twitter. I don't see anything from you, friend. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I did see yesterday uh, there was reference to the Yuzu settlement and uh, kind of everything that was going on there. But uh, thank you very much, Harden Soul. I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't see that on my timeline. Push Up says, I met former Can uh, Canada PM Harper once. Bring him back. Thank you. Appreciate that, Push Ups. Kongzilla came in with five gifted memberships, putting us at 27 Yay! for the day. Thank you so much, Kongzilla, helping us hit our goal. That's spectacular. If you guys get gifted a membership, make sure you say a oh, thank you. Shane says, my every weekday laugh factory. Thank you all for the laugh. Say thanks, Shane. Appreciate you, man. That is that is outstanding. And Warbreaker came in and says, someone said this is a spiritual war. You have no idea how deep the rabbit hole goes. It has always been a spiritual war. These people will do anything that is that is in an abomination, abomination in the eyes of our Lord. I if agree. Uh, Bizarre Star says, "What did Yuzu? Uh, what did Yuzu in having instructions and links to tools to hack the switch, copy game files and encryption files? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see." Ryu Jinx, another switch emulator, does not do this, along with their Discord that it admit users were pirating games you do devs got careless oh okay the users usually devs got careless yeah okay I, I think that's that's the other thing is um they also had they were also kind of behind a paywall they had a patreon where you could have a newer version of it and so i think nintendo came in from a payment perspective we're like hey dog you can't be doing that with a, you know and accepting money from that so um there we go also Mr. Fisto picked out the brand new highlight t-shirt. Oh, Mr. Fisto. Mm. Let's go today. 
What, where's my where's my sound effect? Where'd you go? Oh, hold on. <laughs> where's my sound effect? Uh oh. <laughs> there we are. Nice. All right. Good stuff. Um, and mercenary says this that coordinated attack with the gamers are uh, our over article reminds me of how much the CIA mockingbird stuff. Uh, remember the videos? Videos somebody come uh, okay project project uh, mockingbird. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, mercenary. Appreciate it. All right. Sorry, I butchered all that. Um, and they can't starve you. Says Canada said they would extradite people who break their hate speech law. Better, better to be wearing level four plates uh, if they're going to try try that here in the states. Hey, yeah, that's that's nuts, man. You just get people out of here if you're if you're mean. And uh, sig two sticks, sig sig two two six, which is a gun. Uh, says Trudeau is running Canada just like his daddy ran Cuba. For all those decades. Here we go. All right, guys. Thank you very much for your support today. You guys have been spectacular in your support. We really... <laughs> go take us out. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for being here. I'm gonna be pull a Craig. All right. What does he say? You gotta if you don't let people get you down, you gotta go, go. Get it. I'll see you guys. A quick reminder tomorrow. next week will be Blabs Week here on the show. Yay. We're Blabs will be hosting the show. Uh, Blabs will be hosting from beginning to end, and you'll be able to see train wrecks just like you saw <laughs> at the beginning and at the end of the show. Make sure you treat a really nice Blabs Week all week next week, as I will be nowhere to be seen. It's going to be spectacular. So Blabs, let's try this again. Go ahead. All right, guys. People are going to try to let you down. Don't let them. You got to go, go get it. See you guys tomorrow. Fatality! Did I do that? I'm going to end it now. <laughs> <laughs>